Hi everybody and welcome to how to create artwork for schools and spiritwear using the Easy View Designer. I'm Courtney Kibitza um, and I'll be your presenter for today and kind of share, sharing some of the knowledge and things that I've found in the Easy View Designer to help you guys grow your business this spring and beyond um, with some cool designs from the Easy View Designer. So if you haven't accessed the Easy View Designer before, or you're not um, familiar with it, um, it's basically a free online design tool that works for Transfer Express dealers and allows you to order screen printed transfers. Um, so we're specifically going to work within that software in today's class. Now I'm going to head over to my computer to show you how to access this software and go ahead and get started since there's a lot to cover on the artwork portion. And so I'm on Transfer Express's website here to access the Easy View Designer. I've already logged in, so you will need a dealer account through Transfer Express. And then I just click um, Start Designing in Easy View, where it'll launch the Easy View Design Tool. Now, when you launch the design tool, it's going to allow you to decide where you want to get started. Um, and then we'll walk through the designer a little bit if you're new to it as we walk through our first design as well. But you can choose, um, what I prefer to do is choose from either an idea book layout or choose from clip art, and you'll see me do both versions in today's class. Ideally, you also have the options from this screen to add your own artwork or choose from a past design if you're going to edit it as well, or completely start from scratch if you just want to design something with clip art and text and make your own custom design in here. But since the designer has thousands of layouts, I'm going to go ahead and select the layout option to start. Now, when we're looking to sell to schools and Spiritwear specifically, we're going to look at a few different opportunities that I find um, to be lucrative, especially coming into the spring season with sports, Spiritwear, and school events and groups. The first one, I'm going to start with sports. It tends to be the most popular for where people go. So under the left-hand side of my screen where you're seeing it say Select Category, this just allows you to select whatever category um, you're printing for or you're decorating for. And so it allows you to select from different markets, different opportunities. If I scroll down to the sports category, which is what I'm looking at first, I have a couple of options. If I know I'm going to be printing for baseball or softball, I can select that category and kind of scroll through some of the different templates that they have set up there. Now another thing I really like to do when I'm searching through categories is to, um, again I'll go back to the category sports, and I like to look at either new for 2017 or best sellers because I'm looking for things that are maybe fresh or new or have some new clip art, and so I always like to start at either that or the best sellers to see what are other people using to find the template that I like, and you'll see as I scroll through these, there are a ton of templates. Um, these are just the new ones for 2017, and there's nearly 70, I think 72 total on just this page. So there's thousands and thousands of designs here, so I can scroll through. You're seeing a ton of different markets, from cheer to football to volleyball, um, even a, a bowling. So if you've got a bowling group in your school, that would even work as well. Once I find one that I like, and I'm going to settle here on this basketball design that's kind of distressed for my first look. I'll just select it in and I'll open it up within the Easy View Designer. Now when I go to design um, something like this, of course all of the components of this template are completely customizable and editable. So you'll notice while this design says basketball, I may be printing this for the basketball team or also the baseball team or switching up who I'm printing it for if I want to use the same artwork. And so we'll look at how to customize each element of the design. The first, um, I'm no longer printing for Compton Varsity, so I'm going to edit the text. To edit the text within the designer, I'm just going to select my text here on the top part of my design that I want to edit. And I can either hit it once and then come over here to the left-hand side of my screen where you're seeing the Edit Text option open up and then erase my text option. Um, so this is one way to edit your text. So I'm going to change this to say the Uniontown Raiders for the school that I'm printing for. Okay, it'll automatically drop it on and you'll notice how it keeps the sizing and automatically smart sizes it to fit the design and the template so I don't have to really do a lot of editing. Now if I did find that I wanted to make this larger or make it smaller, I could easily grab the outside of this edit box and drag it to wherever I need it to be within my artwork. I can also move or slide this around if I want to play with that some. 
While I like the font, there's even options for me to here now select the font and change that. I can change the spacing in between the letters, um, the size of the text that I have selected, or the color, which we'll do some of that a little bit later. You'll also notice that I have the distressed option selected, so it's distressing that image as well. So I can decide if I want to only distress a portion of it. Um, if I don't want to distress the name, I can easily turn that part off where the rest of my design is distressed. So we'll go ahead and edit a couple other text items here. The Uniontown Raiders are not the Eagles. They're going to be, um, of course, the Raiders. Oh, so I guess I only need Uniontown up here. We don't need to put it twice. So I'll edit that again. Now, as I mentioned, I can click this once and add it on the screen, or I like to do a double click where it's opening up that fast edit box and allows me to quickly change the text if I'm just changing the name of the text version. So either way you find um, most familiar for yourself. Now, one big trend for school design specifically is the ability to create distressed artwork, and we have tons of videos on Stalls TV walking through different types of artwork for different markets and distressing, but this designer um, allows you to add a distressed pattern to any of your templates and create this really cool distressed pattern. And so this one that is currently on here is the grunge. You'll notice if I go under special effects, again on the left-hand side of my screen where my edit box is, and click for the distressed option, I can change, um, I'm sorry, from the splatter that I'm using now to the grunge if I want to try something else. If I don't like the distress, I can turn it off. I do recommend if you're adding a distress to a template within the system that you choose text that is a bit larger, a bit bolder. Um, we're finding right now, especially for uh, sports apparel or spirit wear, that block fonts are still very popular, which is great because they lend well to these distressed finishes um, because they're able to hold that distressed pattern and show um, them a little bit better. If you have too fine a detail within your design, it's going to be difficult to distress because you're going to lose part of the design um, just in the way that the ink is distressed. So now that I have my distress pattern changed and it's one that I like, um, I can do a couple of other things as well if I'd like to. Um, I can add outlines to this text. I can remove outlines from the text um, simply by just going down to the effects option. And here you're able to see I can uh, remove any outlines that are on the text that may make it a little bit larger if I don't like the outline. I could add a separated outline if I want to make this more of a two color look um, and really play around with what I want to do there. Just make this simple for the coloring, edit that there. So once I have this looking exactly as I would like it to be, I can also edit the colorways. And so I'm going to go ahead and start editing some of the colors within this design. Um, also, I'm going to actually change from it being a base, uh, basketball design to a baseball design. And so um, you'll notice I just went ahead and selected that area of the design so I could easily grab it change it to baseball. And so I could essentially use this same template for basketball and baseball if I'd like to and um, just quickly edit it so that the spirit wear that I'm selling maybe to the school through a fundraiser or for their players all looks exactly the same and has that same feel. Move that down a little bit there and slide everything around. Now to change the colors, I'm just going to select the areas of the design that I want to change. Um, I'll select multiple areas by holding the control button and just selecting what I want it to be within that colorway. So with this one, I'm actually going to, um, I'll, tell you, I'll leave it as the black for that part. Um, and then I'll switch the Raiders and the Uniontown Varsity to be a different shade. Let's go with a gold for the Uniontown Raiders, so we've got black and gold. And if I want to see as I'm choosing ink colors what this is going to look like on the completed garment color, I can even go ahead and change the background. Right now I'm working on kind of a gray silver color, which I think allows the colorway to show up well for a lot of colors, so it works well for that reason. Um, but we'll go ahead and change, let's say I'm putting this on a maroon shirt. Here I might find that the black doesn't seem to stand off quite as much as I'd like it to, or I could switch it out 
if I wanted to put it as maybe a white and gold design on this maroon shirt. So it's a great way to um, kind of see that and get a proof for yourself as you're working with your artwork and your design. Once I'm happy with this, a couple other great features of the Easy View Designer as you're designing and playing around and adding clip art and things is to um, be able to get realistic um, quotes, price quotes on what the transfer will cost you. So let's go ahead and say I'm putting this on a 100% cotton t-shirt. My transfer design is going to be a full front design, two colors. I need, let's say, 150 pieces for this order. And now you can see it's telling me how much this two color design and 150 pieces would cost me um, for the job. So it allows me to kind of see the total price, the price per image. And we'll see some other cool features with this as well. But it's always nice to see if you're pricing your customers very quickly. Let's say um, I'm pricing this to Uniontown Raiders and they want um, options for one color or two color. I can give them the two color pricing and I know what that's going to cost me. And if I want to see what a one color option would be, then I can go ahead and just change all of this to one color. And now you can see my price on the right hand side of my screen has dropped to $1.37. So I can see what the cost difference would be and easily give price quotes to my customer based on what I've got here on the designer. So the nice thing about this one specifically, this design, is that it's distressed. It's um, got that thick block font, which works really well for school apparel. So those are two things that I like specifically when I'm looking at some new trendy artwork for schools. Um, also, if I want to send this to my customers, I can go over to the right side of my screen, click Preview and Share, and drop this on a garment. And so. Um, the preview and share option from Transfer Express Designer actually pulls in um, garments from the Transfer Express apparel line. There's a huge range of products you can choose from. Um, I have one in mind that I know the item number of I want to use. So we'll look at the PC55, just a standard t-shirt there in maroon. And now what this is going to do is it's going to drop that Uniontown Raiders baseball design down onto this t-shirt so I can easily create some proofs um, for my customers to take a look at. So we'll go ahead and select that again, give it just a second to populate. You'll notice that there's a watermark that also comes across the um, design base here. Right now it says Easy Prints, but if I wanted to uh, put a t-shirt company on there, we'll put ABC Tees. I can put my specific watermark on there as well. This way they can't take my artwork design and um, take it to another customer. They remember where, or to another competitor, or they can remember where the design came from. So it's nice to have that access. Once I have this all selected, I can send via the email or I could send it manually by downloading it to my computer. And I always like to keep these and use them even just for photo proofs as I'm um, taking orders and running them through production and things as well so I can remember what the finished garment looks like. All right, so we'll click out of that. That's one design for schools. Another big opportunity when you're selling to schools that I want to look at is special events and special games. There's a big opportunity. Of course, we always think of Spirit Wear. This is a great design for the warm-ups or the school apparel or for maybe even the team to sell as a fundraiser to their parents and friends um, and other fans of the team around the area. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with a brand new design. So we'll just replace this one. Of course, I would want to save it if I was saving this for rather forever. And now I want to look again at special games or special events. We've already gone through some different ways to find um, clip art and text and things like that. And so um, I'm going to actually just start with the item number that I'd like. Um, and so if you ever find a layout that you like within the designer, um, they're all coded by the name or if you ever see them on Transfer Express's website, they're easy to find by these um, codes. And so I've got the QBK214. And this is going to be for a special game called a whiteout. Um, or actually for this to school, I'm going to make it a blackout. So sometimes we'll see blue outs, we'll see whiteouts, blackouts. Um, depending on the school colors, that will change um, 
Also, I see some other opportunities with gold rushes um, and different things that allow you to take a special game and create a t-shirt for it. And usually it's a commemorative game of some sort. It's a big component. And so everybody on the stadium is going to be, or everybody in the court is going to be wearing white only. And so it's just kind of a way to kind of unify the team. And there's a big opportunity for printing these t-shirts in addition to your spirit wear. And so for this one, again, I'm just going to start by changing the text and customizing it for what I'd like it to say. So I'm going to select that text option. Here we've got Fairmont Basketball. Another neat thing about this um, specific design that I have here is you'll notice it's kind of mixing different font types together that I really like. And so I've got this impact font here. I'm going to change this to say blackout. So I've got this really great kind of block font, and then I can mix that with either a slanted, more thin font. Um, one of the big trends we're seeing right now in design is the mixing of different typography or different types of fonts. And so we're seeing more thin slanted fonts mixed with big block fonts like you see here. Also mixing script fonts for uh, more feminine ladies apparel with block fonts as well. So some different opportunities there. Likewise with this one, now we're starting to mix in some clip art and different items like that. And so I can choose to change out this clip art image if maybe I'm doing it right now for the basketball team, but maybe down the road I want to also do it for the hockey team. I'll just select that clip art over here on the left hand side of my screen where it allows me to edit different components of the design. I can click swap. And here it's going to automatically swap out um, or bring up a bunch of different basketball artwork, which is great because if I don't like that basketball but I'm still selling to that market, then I can easily select one that I'd like for that. Also, again, those same categories um, or similar categories will show up on the left-hand side here under my clip art option. So if I want to look for another sport, I could go under the sports category and select hockey. If I want to change it to a hockey design, just select this puck here to show kind of what it would look like. And here I can make those edits. Of course, I would want to change the color of my puck since it is um, a, we'll just go ahead and change it to this for now, since it is a different color there. So very quick and easy to swap out different text elements, different images. I'm just going to undo all that and bring back my basketball by selecting the undo button. Anything with an undo button is always a great thing because that way you're able to make edits as you need to. Okay, so now that I've got it looking the way I want, I know it's got to be for Fairmont Basketball's blackout event. I've got the basketball on there. I'm going to make some other edits and then maybe add some different parts of the design to leverage the whole sheet for my customer. So again, I remember I'm going to be selling this to a school for a event, so I'm going to change the background color to black. Now that makes my text completely um, irrelevant. So another big trend when you're selecting garment colors and artwork colors is to mix and match um, designs that are very similar in shading. So I can choose, let's say, a charcoal, like this charcoal color here, for a really cool trendy tonal type look for the black shirt. So that way everybody at the stadium is going to be wearing black. So I want to choose that as my garment color and then allow my ink color to just be a really cool tonal charcoal color. Um, also, I could try to do more, more of a um, metallic graphite, which is going to give me more of a um, different sheen to the design and that ink color, it's going to create more of a metallic type finish, which will create another really cool finish for these blackout shirts. Keeping it a simple one color because I want to keep this relatively inexpensive since it's just an additional event t-shirt um, that won't be worn throughout the whole season. Now one great thing about this Easy View Designer. Um, is it allows me to take a look at the full sheet size, which I have 11 and a quarter by 14, as you see here on the top of my screen, to play with. And so I can mix and match different clip art, I can add different text on here, and really leverage the full size of the sheet. So if my design, which is currently reading at 10 and a half inches wide, is all that I need for my full front of my design, I still have a little bit of room here that I can play with to be able to add a quote or something else to the back of the shirt. So if I want to add text to the back of the shirt, I'm going to go with um, the add text option here up on the left hand side of my screen. This lets me add any component to this sheet. So if I want to add text, clip art, layouts, I can do all of that. 
can even add my own artwork if the Fairmont basketball team gave me their own logo they wanted printed. Um, it is going to drop this new text box on here, so I'm going to change the color real quick so, so you guys can see it as I'm editing it. And I'm going to go ahead and add a popular saying to the back. This is great for when you're doing school um, spirit wear or sports apparel, being able to put maybe a quote for the team or something that's kind of their, um, their mantra um, for the team. And so even when you're selling apparel, that's a great thing to ask. Um, is there a saying or something that you're identifying with? Is there a mantra um, that kind of just unifies the team and unifies the school that you can add to the back of the shirt? So this one, I'm going to change it to say defend till the end for a popular saying. If you guys follow the um, Transfer Express blog, you'll notice I think a couple of weeks back they had actually posted a blog post with some really popular basketball sayings. So it was actually where I found the defend till the end, but another great way to stay on top of trends. Now what I am doing here is I want to edit the font from the Arial. It um, doesn't seem to match the front of the shirt, so I'm just going to edit that. And here at the bottom when I go to edit a font, you'll see it's telling me what is still available within, um, within this design. So if I don't want to go outside of that artwork, I can choose the same font. So I'm going to go with impact and then I'll just rotate this to get it to fit. It's a little bit wide now. I'm looking about 15 inches, which is really big for a back design that I'm going to put on this shirt. So I'm going to rotate this to fit in that spot. I'm going about 10 and a half to 11 inches wide there and just fitting that on there and I can stretch it and play around with it as I'd like to fit on the sheet. Now I do want this to still continue to be one color, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this red color back to the same one that's in use. Um, so this way now I have the full front design and the back design all on one sheet. When I go over to the screen here and I'm selecting let's say a 50-50 cotton blend with a goof proof ink, um, and you can change the ink type depending on what um, you're printing. Goof proof tends to be the most popular, it's probably 90% of the jobs that you'll print. A lasty print is going to be for more performance wear, and then your hot split is also really popular for um, very thin, lightweight garments since the ink's a little bit thinner. And then I'll put my price quote in here, so let's say I need 250 of these for this event. And again, now I'm saying that price quote for the one color design. Karen, have I had questions coming in on the um, Easy V Designer or some of the designs I've created so far? If it says screen print design in the print method box, is it still a heat pressed item? It is, yeah. So um, Transfer Express sells screen printed transfers primarily. You can see when I select that some of the other print methods like the stretch litho transfer, which is a digital transfer option for full color options. Um, but So it will be an actual screen printed heat transfer and so it will come pre-printed on a sheet with plastisol inks and then you actually complete the application at your heat press. Okay, so that gives us one design, or actually two designs there for sports teams, different opportunities. We've got your fan apparel, apparel for fundraising, and then also your special events that will happen throughout the year. Um, and So keep on track with that if you have connections at the school or you have um, family members at the school or uh, children that play, always keep in mind that you want to know what's happening. Um, when you get the schedule and it comes out, find out if there's any special events or games, senior night, blackouts, anything like that that they're going to plan throughout the season and just stay in with your community so you're aware of what teams are maybe heading to the playoffs with big games like this. Alright, so I'm going to start with another new design. So I'm just going to clear this by selecting the new design option. And now we're going to look at a few options for clubs. And so there are a ton of clubs and groups within schools that you're able to print for and sell for. And there's a lot of opportunity there. I'm going to start again with the layouts. Um, and you can always take a look at what clubs, what schools at your school websites in your local area to find out how, um, what the opportunity is there and what they're looking for. Most of them want to identify with shirts. Um, and so there's a great opportunity there that we'll look at. Again, I can go into some of the school prints here. Let's say I'm printing for a choir. I could go ahead and look at some of the options there. I have one that I'm going to pull up here that I really love because it follows a lot of the design elements that you may not think of when you're thinking of selling to a choir or a school group. 
but it has a lot of the fashion elements that we're starting to see move into spirit wear. So I think it's important to look at a lot of these fashion layouts and how we can customize them for the market that we're selling to for something a little bit more unique. All right, so here we have um, what started as the Compton Soccer. This is going to completely change to a design for the Uniontown School Choir. Um, and so we are going to edit this um, a few different ways. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to change, of course, my text. I like to start there so I can get a good start to make sure everything edited to what it needs to be. So we've got Uniontown for UHS here, leaving the font as is. I'm going to go ahead and edit the Compton to say Uniontown. And I'm not a huge fan of the serif font um, that's being used, so I'm going to go ahead and edit that to start to more of a block font. If you remember in the beginning of the session, I had mentioned mixing block fonts with script fonts are really popular. So I'm going to do that, and when I get into the fonts, if I'm looking for a specific type, maybe it's a simple block or a um, script font, I can easily find that in my text. So let's go ahead and find one that I like here. We'll go with this one. And again, I can drag it to make the sizing a little bit larger. You'll notice how it automatically starts to kind of move into the artwork and create kind of a punch out so I can see what I'm doing with this artwork um, and where it's going to inlay. Next, I want to change the soccer to choir and I want to change it to a script font because I want something that's going to be a little bit trendier mixing that block and script together. Again, I can go ahead and select my edit font, looking for some script font options that they have available. And there's a lot of fonts um, that you can see throughout the Easy View Designer. I mean, these are literally just the script fonts that are available. All right, so we have the Uniontown Choir here. I'm going to size that up a little bit and fit it in with my design. So now that I have changed this from the Uniontown Choir, I probably want to edit and change the soccer logo um, template or the pattern that's out of there. Patterns are incredibly popular and there's a lot of opportunity for patterns within um, the Easy View Designer. And so if I go to um, add, what I want to do is I want to change the pattern. I want to actually remove it from the UHS and I want to create a big pattern background here um, to create kind of a really cool full color look. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the pattern from um, the UHS just by selecting patterns which again would allow me to edit any of the patterns on the image element that I've selected which is that UHS. And I'm just going to click none. So that's going to remove that pattern from there and I can play around with the colors once I get the pattern in place and the colors that I'd like. The next thing that I want to do is I want to add a pattern to that background. So I'm going to select that big background diamond image that I have there and then I'm going to try to add the pattern. Um, now you'll notice this design element actually has a couple of components. It's got the large outer diamond and then what the inside diamond as well. So when I go to select a pattern and I'm looking for a trendier pattern like an Aztec, so I'm going to scroll through some of these um, that maybe fit um, different markets. I may have scrolled past it. There it is. Let's go with, let's see if I can add a go ahead and go with the uh, tiger stripes here. Now you notice when I go to add a pattern, it's telling me that it cannot be applied to a group. Um, so what I need to do is I need to ungroup this artwork image. So I'm going to go ahead up to object, ungroup. Now that I've ungrouped this, I can remove or change things out that I don't need any longer. Um, so if I want to move that black part out, if I want to move the um, white part of the triangle out, I can do so, or I can edit them individually. I'm going to go ahead and pull that one out so I can edit this background one to be the main part of the artwork. Now I can go ahead and select my pattern options. 
and choose from the market that I'm printing for based on what I'm looking for for the uh, market. All right, so let's go ahead back down to that tiger um, print that we have here. And I'm going to remove this out of here as well. So I just have one big pattern in the back here. Now I'm creating kind of more of a trendy patterned effect to the artwork and to the design there. I can also edit the colors as I'd like to uh, fit the market a little bit differently. So if I want to go with maybe a neon pink just for something that's a little bit more fashionable, I can do so. Um, and then if I want to match colorways up for the UHS, I can go ahead and select those components and change those colors as well. So maybe I want this to be a three color, um, vibrant neon design. Of course, keep in mind every time I add a color or take away one, it's going to change the price as well. So I always like to do that um, as I'm setting, as I'm creating quotes and creating artwork and designs as well. Karen, have I had questions come in on the Easy View Designer as we're looking at some of the uh, patterns that are available and things? Yes, one of the viewers wants to know if they're designing for a cheer team that would be using glitter as their main design type, would you be able to use this method of transfers for their designs? Um, yes, yeah, so the question was if they're using glitter specifically. Transfer Express does have a screen printed glitter in their options, and so I would be able to select glitter for um, the print. Now, it's not going to show me glitter on the transfer designer because it's not able to show those colors, and the colors would be different. So I am limited to um, some other shades, which I could easily change and edit. Now, you'll notice when I changed to that glitter option, I got these um, alert signs on the color way over here. So if you ever notice any of these alert screens, then you would want to go ahead and edit those um, and select colors that are more appropriate for the market that you're looking to reach. All right, so we'll play around with a little bit of that, get our design back to normal. Um, here, over here, I'm looking at a three color design, so I just wanted to finish this so you guys can see. Um, if I'm at 100 sheets and I need this for um, this group, three colors getting me at about $4 per image. I may want it to be a little bit less expensive, so I'm going to drop it to a two color design. And now I can see my price dropped a dollar per image for the screen printed transfer. So this is again at that glitter pricing there for the glitter screen printed transfer. Now another neat thing about this is if I was choosing to do a um, left chest only for the artwork for this design, um, I could size this myself here by dragging it or editing the size to four and a half inches wide and then maybe tiling them across. Or the, um, you'll notice at the top hand board of your screen where it says artboard, it actually has some smart sizing options in here and so I could choose to go to um, different sizes for let's say a heart, which is going to be the standard five, four and a half by four and a half and then I can take my artwork and resize it. Um, to fit within this four and a half by four and a half artwork image. And as I go outside of the artboard, um, it'll alert me of that as well. So when I switch to the left chest design, um, since it's gonna allow me to do what they call gang sheeting, it will actually, you'll notice on the uh, right hand side of the screen where I'm getting those price quotes start to show up. So I'm gonna pay $7 per sheet, which is more than I was at at my per sheet cost, but it's ganging them up together, and so I'm only actually going to pay $1.20 per image once I get them together. It also notifies me that I can save some money if I increase my order, um, and sometimes this may be a literally a change of, um, you know, a few sheets to save a few, you know, here I'm now saving 20 cents per image um, just by adding 20 extra images to my order, and so I'm going to save money overall when I change to 120 sheets from 100 sheets and I'm actually getting, um, so my price is $3 cheaper and I'm getting 20 extra sheets and I can use those for um, printing additional items for selling to them or if they get extra people that come into the choir or if they want to sell some extra shirts maybe to an event or at an event or something, they can have those extra shirts for that as well. So great little tool there on the side. 
Next thing I want to look at is um, mixing together for a drama club. So another group there, so I'm just going to start my new design here completely and pull up another piece of clip art that I like for this market. And this one is actually going to leverage a plaid um, pattern within the artwork and the design. So I'm going to go back and make sure my artboard is set at my adult standard sheet size. So I'm back at 11 and a quarter by 14 size sheet so I can see this design element. Now, when we're looking for selling or selling to schools, um, being able to mix and match patterns with different design elements like circles, um, some of the um, different elements that you see here with the big block C um, and the school name, all of that is really popular. Now this may be a, a um, layout or template that you're not thinking for a drama club because it says state champs and you're thinking, oh, it's clearly a school design. Um, but it uses a lot of those very fashionable elements like the patterns and the different design elements that really create a cool look for any market. And I think it's looking at that um, into even groups and stuff as well. So again, I'm going to go ahead and edit this to um, have some few different elements to it. I'm going to change the eagles to the hawks by selecting my eagle text. And if I have trouble grabbing a part of the design, I just drag over top until it selects that for portion. So we'll change that to the hawks, change the colorway there to, let's say this is going to be a blue and gold school, so I'm going to change this to an athletic gold color. To start, since I'm editing that there, I'm going to edit my state champs to say the drama club. Also edit that color while I'm here to be that same gold shade that I'm using throughout the design. Then I want to just go in and edit some of the other design elements like the plaid pattern back here. It's no longer going to be black. I want to make it more of a, um, let's say, a, well, we'll go royal blue for this one, make it a little bit brighter for this school. And then I'm also going to just take some of the other black colors out of here so that I'm keeping it with a two color design as well. So I'll change that there to a gold. I'm going to change this to that same blue. And it's nice to have the option to have the um, in-use colors. You'll notice how those pop up so I know which colors I'm using. Also here on the left-hand side of my screen, if I just want to quickly change all of the black to, let's say, that blue color, I can select the black, select blue, and now it's automatically edited all of that text to that color. So I don't have to individually change the colors if I'm trying to simplify it from one color to another with multiple design elements like this one is here. Um, another cool thing with this is just being able to think about how can I um, take this design and leverage this sheet for multiple design placements. It's another trend you'll see for 2017 is being able to customize designs. And so I'm going to size this down a little bit here so I can add some extra design elements onto the sheet. And so I've started here with my full front hawks design or my full front hawks design there for the drama club and then maybe I just want to add a sleeve print or something cool to make the design unique and for that I just want to add some of these center elements here like the circle um, along with the pattern and the plaid there so I'm going to select all of that um, and then I'm actually going to copy and paste it and I can do that with the object board here by clicking duplicate or I can use control D on my control board and that's going to create a duplicate of that Seahawks design. So I'm going to size this down a little bit, but what I want to do is I want to remove the Seahawks and I want to create a clip art templated image that I can put for the specific drama club or group for the design. Um, because ideally what I could do is I could print this Hawks design with a variety of different markets and then customize the sleeve as well. So I went ahead and just selected and deleted the clip art there. I'm going to select add clip art. Again, there's a ton of options of clip art that are available. I'm going to look for, let's say, I can search for drama. Um, that's another really cool feature is the search up here. So I can search by any topic and get what I'm looking for. So here I found some drama mask. 
can size that down to fit within my design here. Again, making it the same colors. When I gang sheet designs, as long as the colors are the same, I can put virtually any image on this sheet and it will not change my price. So even if I have an order for uh, um, another group within the school, which we'll see on my next design, I can add that into this design and send it all to print together. Karen, have I had any other questions coming in? Yes. Will these transfers come with directions on the time and temperature for pressing them? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you order transfers from Transfer Express, the application instructions are included with the transfers when you receive them. And so there's a nice application sheet there. Also, they're always available online. So if you happen to misplace your paper halfway through the application, you could easily go back to their website and find the application instructions there. Okay, so that gives us another design that's popular for using patterns and different design elements for um, a drama club. So two clubs there. The other market I want to look at is field days um, or special events at the school. And so this is looking outside of maybe that sports and spirit group and going more towards a, um, the events that are available maybe at the local elementary school or the junior high that they do coming up in the um, late spring, early summer. So getting your foot in the door, being able to have these things available for when they're ready for them. Again, I'm going to pull up my design there that I'm looking for. Perfect, it's going to say field day, but instead of it being for the Eagles, I'm going to edit the text to say the night power. I'm going to change my Compton Elementary to Laurel Elementary. I can edit the um, text here, so uh, maybe the um, mascot is a number one, it's number two, I could delete that or change that to number two. Also, again, I'm going to use that swap function. So here I have a, I want to change it to a knight instead of an eagle. So I'm going to swap out that eagle. I can search for a knight piece of artwork by searching for knights. Also, if I wanted to, I could go ahead up into the categories and search for their mascots as well. And here you'll see I'll find knights under this category as well. So I'm looking for something that's going to fit the market for, um, or fit the design. I had a kind of a taller design there, so I want something that's going to look good there. I'm going to drop in this little guy. And so now I've completely customized for field day for Laurel Elementary night power. Now, when I think about gang sheeting and think about opportunities at the school, the way schools tend to work, um, field day tends to be a event that happens in a week-long celebration of all kinds of other things at the end of the school year. There may be carnival day, there may be talent show day, there are all kinds of events. So if I can sell those events together, there may be opportunity for me to gang the artwork um, together onto one sheet. And so maybe field day's got a big full front design for the t-shirt but Carnival Day is just going to be some small left chest logos. And so I can go ahead and add a layout to this design and order them all together. So let's see what I have here for a Carnival. Again, just by using my search tool or I can simply go through the categories depending on what I'd like to do. I like this Spring Carnival design here. So we'll go ahead and edit this before we size it down. So I'm going to slide this out of the way so we can see what we're editing here. Um, I can also zoom in as well if I want to zoom into certain components on the design and edit them. I can do so by using my zoom tool. So this one is no longer going to say um, the annual Compton Heights. It's now going to say Laurel Elementary. So double click on that text and change it from Laurel. Instead of Compton Heights, it's going to say elementary. And then I'll keep it as the spring carnival, um, or I can adjust it if I don't have a spring carnival. Same thing, I can change the dates of the event, or I can completely delete them if I don't want them on there. So I've got all of these elements together. I'm going to size this down to about a 4x4 four four to fit. 
and to be the left chest image that I'm looking for. Make sure I've got it all on the sheet here and I can size things around and move it around there for myself so I know it's all on the sheet and not overlapping. If you miss this, you'll likely be called by a Transfer Express um, rep to let you know that some changes may be needed made to your artwork to size them correctly. Alright, so I've got the Laurel Elementary Carnival and then I'm going to go ahead and add another piece of clip art because maybe for field day they also want to put the grades on the sleeve so they know what class each person is identifying with and so I'm going to look for maybe an award. See if we can find some award type thing or a circle or something that allows me to um, add that on there. So I'm going to go with a ribbon for just a simple one like this here. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Let me go ahead and swap that out. I got finger happy and selected the wrong thing. All right, there we go. I think. So I've got this here. It's going to go for a nice little um, placement maybe on the sleeve. I can size that down to three by three. So we'll go with three inches high since I want it to fit on that sleeve. I can add text inside for the number. So now this is going to say number five. Oh. And I'll just use one of the fonts that are currently being used within the design. So that boink there. So now I know that's for the fifth grade students. And I can put that on their field day shirts. I'll size that to fit wherever it fits centered into that ribbon. And so you're kind of starting to see how I can play around with um, different design elements. Now, as long as all of these ink colors are the same, so let's say this design is going to go on a um, navy blue shirt and all of the text is going to be white, then anything I put on the sheet that's white can print. And so it's going to allow me to get a less expensive cost because I need a hundred, let's say I need a hundred shirts for field day, a hundred for carnival day, um, then I'm still paying the same price per sheet there for that design. All right, so that's another design opportunity there. Now I've sold for two different events at the local school, carnival day, as well as the field day. And lastly, I want to look at spirit wear opportunities. So being able to mix and match different cheer and spirit designs together. And so um, one is going to be a cheer design. The other one is kind of leveraging that bohemian chic for spirit wear. So I'll start with the cheer design there. And I know I'm starting to go a little bit over my time layout here. So if you have to jump off, keep in mind we record these classes. Um, they are available on transfer or on stallstv.com under the live events uh, tab about a week after the event. So you'll be able to tune into this a little bit later if you're missing, got to jump off and you're going to miss the end of the presentation. So I like this because it uses a great big piece of text on the, all right, um, clip art on the back. And we're starting to see with a lot of the typography trends being able to use um, text as creating a design style. So just leveraging the areas of fonts and wording in a different way than we've ever used it before than just putting a saying on a shirt. So I'm going to change the X to an R. Again, if I want to edit those um, patterns or distressed elements, then I can do so. So I'm going to change the R. Um, let's say I want to change the background or keep the design, I can do that as well. Now if I want to go ahead and change this pattern um, from maybe a tie-dye to something else, like a chevron. You'll notice, again, it's not going to allow me to take it and put it onto this complex item, so I need to simplify this design. So I'm actually going to go ahead and kind of remove everything from the Compton R, or from the R. And I'll just go Effects, Clear Effects and Patterns. Give it a second to populate that there. And then I can remove outlines or anything as well that I have going on if the text doesn't look quite like I wanted it to. 
So now that I have a simple design element, now I can go ahead and add that pattern back in. So I'll go back down to my chevron. Creates my chevron background there. Um, and I can edit the colors of it. So if I want it to now be, let's say, a watermelon kind of color, maybe something that's a little bit more popular for cheer, I can do so. Um, this is going to change from being the Compton team to Ripley. From Eagles to Cheer. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this text a little bit and make it a little bit larger so it starts to show up and really stand out. And as I'm selecting just some more popular colors, I may want to go with colors that aren't school related. Um, a lot of people tend to think it has to be, if you're selling to schools, it has to be um, school spirit, colors only, no opportunity for um, going outside the box with maybe some more fashionable elements, but it's tending to be more popular to add some of these fashion colors and fashion elements into designs, especially if you're doing spirit and cheer wear for the school. Um, and so this is a great way to kind of mix and match different colors like that that I've done here. Another neat thing that you can do, even with this designer, um, although it won't work for, well, I wouldn't choose it for this specific design, is you're able to do um, what's called a fabric color. So you're seeing the design just show through the um, shirt. And so if I change this to black, you'll notice there isn't a white design that's in this actual element. So that's why it's important to use and leverage that um, background color sometimes. So you're able to see this is actually the fabric color showing through on this design. And so it helps to keep the design soft and really creates what looks like a three color design um, on a lot of this artwork. And so it creates a really cool effect there. And then our last design that I wanted to choose after we've gone with this big block font like we have here with a chevron is again looking and leveraging different fashion elements throughout spirit wear. So I'm going to go back into my layouts and pull up one that's a new layout that's actually popular for um, what they consider a uh, bohemian market. And actually I'm going to pull it up as a clip art. So again, following the Transfer Express blog, you'll be able to find out when they add some new clip art and elements. It may help you think of new things you can do for new markets or um, different opportunities there. So I'm going to just start looking to pull up the clip art that I'm looking for. If I can find it. Let's go with searching. Looking for a feather artwork. There it is, 143. That's what I was missing. All right, so this is going to say love. And this kind of follows that same bohemian chic look that mixes feathers and arrows and antlers and flowers all together into kind of more of a folk inspired design or something that's a little bit more trendy. We're seeing this move a lot more into the spirit wear realm. So I can even use clip art now as a good starting point to create my artwork. And so I have the love design here. I want to add the school name so I can add Raiders for the team that I'm selling for. So I'm just going to select that add text on the left hand side of my screen. There we go. I'll add the Raiders since that tends to be who I'm always selling to. And I think it fits well with the feather and arrow that I have here. Give this just a minute. I tend to be a little finger happy with uh, adding things into the, the designer and uh, so we'll let the internet go ahead and populate the artwork there for me. Remove some of these other new texts there once I can edit. All right, so we'll give us a minute to catch back up to where I'm at here. But what we're going to do is we're going to um, change the font to something that matches this love feel, give us some of those feathers and the um, arrows there. Karen, have I had questions coming in? Yes, one of the viewers wants to know, what are the turnaround times for these transfers? Uh, turnaround times will vary if you're sending them from the uh, Transfer Express Easy View Designer. 
you're looking at about 24 to 48 hours for the turnaround. 24 hours is um, usually for single color designs. Multicolor will take up to um, the 48 hours. And then um, single color designs that are in before 11 a.m. can ship the same day. Um, so turnaround is very quick as well. All right, so let's go ahead and undo these and see if I can get back to, there we go, somewhere that's going to allow me to edit this text. All right, so we're going to add our raters in here. We're going to add it and edit our text option. And I'm just looking for, let's say, a certain font. There we go, PA. I want to choose a font that's going to be fitting with the market that I'm selling to. And so I went ahead and chose this palette font to drop that down into the Raiders. And that way it's going to allow me to mix and match with the um, patterns that I'm, or the font type that I'm selling for. Um, it doesn't seem to be allowing me to edit. I think my internet's starting to slow up here. Um, so Karen, do I have any questions coming in as we start to wrap up the class here? Um, okay, if you guys have questions, feel free to chat them in. Um, ideally, what you want to think about with new Spiritware designs and images is to um, really try to go outside the box with the markets that you're selling to, the events that you're selling to, and also the clip art images and colors that you're selling for your market. And so um, being able to use more fashion colors in your design or design elements like arrows, feathers, um, more bohemian chic type things, more big bold prints, patterns, all of that, um, which is incredibly easy to do in the Easy View Designer. And so hopefully I've given you some tips here throughout the class to be able to take these back. I encourage you to get online, um, become a dealer with Transfer Express if you're not, and really play around with the Easy View Designer. I think you'll find it's incredibly powerful. So within minutes, you can start creating designs like these, creating proofs, and easily um, sending artwork to customers so they can approve it and you can start to print your jobs. Um, this has been Courtney Kibitza with Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.